Wow. Tampa. <laughs> Welcome to the HSCL Roadshow, a three month road trip where we'll be traveling the country in an RV to teach 25 high schools how to build PCs. And when we leave each school, we leave behind six gaming computers so that they can start their own esports team. Huge thanks to the Army National Guard, ASUS, Intel, and Extreme Networks for sponsoring this series. On this trip, we have Nehemiah, who is our campaign manager, Nick, our videographer, and me, Connor, the commissioner of the High School Esports League. Three gamers, a giant camper, and a bunch of computers. We have arrived in Tampa, Florida. Um, so this is actually Jack's old stopping grounds here. He knows his way around and so we thought, well, he thought it would be fun if I did a day in the life of Jack Matthews. The other day we were filming and Connor jumped in the water. As you guys remember, if you look back on the videos and Connor was looking a little, you know, on the brighter side. I, I could have been more tan. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him a little bit of, uh, you know, an upgrade. We're gonna, we're gonna change the top rag top here from a nice creme de la creme buttercream color to more of a jet black color. And then we're gonna get him a nice little tan. All right, so we're gonna have some fun today. Day in the life, a Jack Jack with Connor. Full on makeover, photography style. We'll see you on the other side. As you can tell, I'm so excited. This is gonna be so, great. so, so excited. No, I'm not. Can't wait, dude, so help me. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Hi Connor. Nice to meet you. What do you think? What do you think? Should he do I'm, it? I'm, I'm nervous as f I'll be honest. First of all, he thinks we'll out in a month. I'm worried because my brother's wedding is next weekend, so whatever we do is gonna be in the family photos right. forever. I think we're I need you, I need a little true. confirmation from I, you that I'm not gonna look idiotic. And you can be honest. If you're like, dude, it's too much, just give him a haircut. <laughs> we're going deeper. Have deeper. Yeah, we're That's gonna go we're gonna go dark. Yes, good, good. It's gonna be awesome. I actually kind of like it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Look at this guy. Wow. You look good. You feel real good. That's that's a, a morning in Jack's life. Let's go get some food. What are we doing right now, bro? We are hopping on these scooters, and apparently there's a super cool spot to go eat. So I'm just gonna try to get there without crashing. That's right. What did we just order, homie? We got, what, what, what we were told is the best chicken sandwich on this side of the Mississippi. Yet to be determined, but I'm feeling pretty good. I highly doubt that. I can't wait. What's I can't your opinion of the best chicken sandwich this side of the Mississippi? So there's this dude in Texas, and he cooks like steak and chicken. Well, that's on the other side of the Mississippi, so we're already <laughs> right. How was it, Rookie? It's great, I love it. All right, so today we're here at Armwood High School to build an esports lab for them. This is just outside of Tampa in Sempner, Florida. It'd be a really exciting day. I saw on social media, they're already tweeting at us, super excited about this. So I'm excited to start the day. Can we just take a second to admire how beautiful these power supplies are? set up and now we're gonna get lunch before we kick this off. Esports equals good. Ted Newfield, I am our uh, computer science instructor and our esports uh, general manager slash coach. Sure, uh, when I was brought here, uh, initially I was brought in just to work on our dual enrollment uh, computer science group, which was about 120 students. Um, the upperclassmen wanted to have a, a Rainbow Six team, 
which we can play off campus. That started the swell of like, well, we can go in the smash, we can do so many others, and that started the club aspect of it. Increased attendance, raising GPAs, a willing, a want to come to school. We still do a little competitive gaming on a Friday, so they want to get that work done between Monday through Thursday, and then on Friday is kind of a competitive gameplay day, doing scholastic esports in some capacity. Um, for us, this is going to change our world for us. Uh, we're able to uh, step up inside of our district based upon the, the, uh, our community to be able to compete so against some of the other bigger schools in our, in our region because the only thing we could compete upon were uh, console-based games. Most of my students want to see the equipment. They just can't put their hands on it. And this allows them to be able to put their hands on it. Uh, what would I say to other teachers? Okay, find that one game that you may not be, and don't be afraid that you're not gonna know that game. I would play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, that Mario, I mean, I'm that type of, type of kid. But doesn't mean that I know how to play Smash very well. That's okay. Your student will be the one that teaches you that. I let them coach me. So it's a two-way street. But find that one or two from your community that, will, that, that they can sink into. But for the teacher's aspect, I would definitely advise. Find that one or two games that are part of the niche in it see what you can do what, what, and, and try and grow from there. In general, it's some of the stereotypes that surround some of the games, you know, whether it's cartoon violence versus standard, you know, violence, and we kind of talk about that. Um, but from some respects, it's understanding that there's a scholastic side to it. What games that are competitive nature, but that are not going to cause any issues, you might say.